How's it going guys? My name is Vader and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. So, two episodes ago, we made, well I made it, you guys watching back here, but we made a ferris wheel. This thing here, you can see since last time, it's become a bit more colourful because the paint tool update came out. So I thought I'd come and paint it to make it look a bit more exciting. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, on that episode, Tons and tons of you guys requested that we start an amusement park based around the ferris wheel. So that's what we are doing today. Since I built the ferris wheel, I built a couple other things which I can show you, which are just to the left here. Ooh. So the first thing I made, which took significantly longer than you would expect, is this sort of tower thing. I don't know what you'd call it. It's similar to like the Tower of Terror, if you guys have ever been on that. It's the kind of thing you sit in the seat and it goes up and then it just drops down. I don't know, I don't know how you describe it, but that, that's what it does. You, you've seen one before, surely. Anyway, you get in this little platform here, which is nice and flush with the floor. You can see those gaps to put more platforms in. I only built one just to, just to test if it works. It works okay. But anyway, you sit in this middle seat. This is the controller seat. And if you press one, then it starts to go upwards. It's a very bumpy ride. I tried for a very long time to make it go up smoothly, but I can't do it. Anyway. It goes up, it vibrates a lot, then you get to the top of this lovely red tower. You can see I put this lovely red fade on it. That took, that took a very long time because it's hard to paint something which is like a hundred blocks tall. But anyway, you get to the top and then if you just turn the engines off, it falls back down. That's where the ride comes into it. I think it's pretty cool. Doesn't normally go down that smoothly actually. Normally it gets like jammed halfway and like his head slams into his feet or something. Oh god, your spine would just be like smushed to pieces if you wrote this thing. You should probably not go on this thing in real life, but in the game, absolutely fine. Okay, let's try it again. I want to have it where it hits the floor really hard, because if he does, his entire- Yeah, there we go! His entire body just like turns to jelly and smashes into the floor. Actually, wait, let's try this thing in first person. Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh god. That is actually quite scary in first person. Yeah, yeah, that's quite high. It I made it quite tall. Anyway, that looks like the top. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Ow! Well, yeah, that's, that's that thing. I really don't know what you'd call it. I don't know what the proper name for one of these would be, but I'm sure you've seen one before. Anyway, I made one of those. You can ride it with you and you and two friends. And if, if I get round to it, I could always build three more of those cars. So 12, 12 people could ride it at once. It's pretty cool. I made this lovely base around it. Oh, yeah, I should say, I made these paths around the park. It would be cool if I could fully decorate the park. It'd be nice if I could add trees into it, but you can't add trees. Obviously, there's the other world that has trees already, but I don't get to choose where those trees are. They're just there. And uh, it's quite hard to build stuff in the not flat world. So, uh, so yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be quite empty looking, but I can make some paths. I can make some other decorations. Oh, actually, we should make some street lights. That would be cool. W what I was thinking, because there's no lights in this game, but I'm pretty sure the developers are going to add like a day and night cycle at some point. And surely... If they add night time to the game, they have to add lights, because, like, it'd be very dark otherwise. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully a nighttime mode gets added soon, and then we'll test the park out at night time, put some street lights, make it all lit up. That would be cool. Anyway, the next thing I have built is this here. It's bumper cars. They don't look like real-life bumper cars, but, like, the wheels are too big, and it's just... Anyway, they're bumper cars. They're cars that you can drive into each other. That's what a bumper car is. Let's jump in here. So, I guess I'll go in this one. And then if, if I had any friends, they would go in the other ones, if I if I had any. And then, yeah, you would just drive the cars into each other and uh, bump them. Bump, bump. Ah, you got, you got bumped. Oh, crap. Oh, I bumped myself. God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So as you can see, these cars are quite easily flippable. So it could be, it could be like a four-player thing. I don't know why I didn't make a fourth car. Anyway, it could be like a four-player thing and then like the last person to get flipped would be the winner. That would be a kind of cool, kind of cool little mini-game to play if I had if I had four people to play it. Anyway, yeah, that's just a little a little bumper car concept. I just wanted to build a couple things to show you guys at the start of this episode, just to, to fill the park out a little bit more. Test a couple theme park concepts. These are some things that you guys suggested, by the way. Bumper cars was one of the most suggested things by far. I'm not sure if anyone suggested that thing, but I thought, I thought it would be cool and quite easy to make. The one thing that you guys suggested more than any other theme park ride is a roller coaster. Basically, a roller coaster is just a train, it's just a train that goes faster. Um, I've made a train before, and as with that video, because Scrap Mechanic is all made of cubes, um, you can't have like curves, and also roller coasters have lots of curves. So if we did make a roller coaster, it would basically just have to go in a straight line, 
and then have a turntable like I made with the train and then just go in another straight line. It wouldn't be the world's most fun roller coaster, let's say that. So yeah, if you guys really, really want, we can make a roller coaster, but I promise you it will be a very boring roller coaster. Anyway, let's see the bumper cars behind. I should, yeah. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions of any rides we should add to the theme park, let me know down below, because it'd be cool to have a whole series where we build up the theme park, fill the entire, the entire flat world with rides, maybe. But yeah, that'd be, that'd be a cool little project. But anyway, on to the main event for today. So I thought we should actually build something in this episode, not just a whole episode of me showing you guys stuff. So I was thinking, a cool addition to the theme park would be a merry-go-round. If a merry-go-round is not called a merry-go-round where you're from, basically, a merry-go-round is like a big spinny platform, and then on the platform there's like poles with seats on, and you sit in the seats, and then some of the poles go like up and down, and then you sit in them, so if you can imagine you're spinning, and then you're on this seat that's going like, it's... It, if you don't know what it is, it's really hard to explain. That probably sounds really weird. But anyway, it is a thing. Trust me, it is a thing. We're going to make one of those because I'm pretty sure we can make it and it should be cool. So I'm going to make it roughly here, uh, the other side of the road from the bumper car. So that's a good place for it. Basically, we need to start out with the sort of base thing like the tower has. Then we need a sort of like a spinny platform, similar to how we made the crane. But this time I'd actually like it to spin. The crane didn't spin so good. So you need a spinny platform and then sticking up from the spinny platform we need some poles and then some of the poles need to go up and down just like America does and then we need to put a top on it and then we need to paint it all loads of fancy colours. So I'm going to get to work on that. We'll do like little montage bits and then at each point I'll explain what I'm doing. So let's start building a merry-go-round. Okay guys, so I've made a platform which is on a bearing so that it can spin like once you've finished it. Uh, and I've also made one of these poles just to test out the concept of having a pole which sort of goes up and down. So the way I've done this is it's got two bearings, one which spins like that way and one which spins the other way. So basically it should result in it just going up and down and slightly side to side. One thing I didn't realize would happen is this pole actually touches the floor when it gets to the bottom. And it actually moves the, uh, it moves the merry-go-round round. This is not really how I had intended this to work. So I think maybe we need to move the entire platform up by one. There we go. So, if you can imagine, once the thing's fully finished, I'll stick some seats on each of these. And then while the thing is spinning around, these will be going sort of up and down. And it's meant, I think in real life, it's meant to be like a sort of galloping horse type thing. It's, it's, it's gonna be magical. It's gonna be magical. Okay, so I guess the next step is to add some seats to these and also in between these in like in the other four like gaps I'm gonna add some poles that don't move so like half the poles will go up and down half of them will just stay still We'll have a range of seats. Uh, well, actually basically the driver seats are a bit too big So basically we'll have a range of seats and toilets. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's get to work building some of those. Okay, so our merry go round now has eight seats on it. Four of them move, four of them don't. You can also see I built a ceiling on it, because basically merry go rounds in real life normally have like a top bit as well. So hopefully, I've left some holes in here, so hopefully when I turn this button on, these can still freely rotate, but you never see the top of them. They don't like come out of place. So that's all good. It's a shame they're so loud. <laughs> it's quite an annoying sound they make, but whatever, whatever. Anyway, We've got our seats in place, we've got the top and the bottom platforms. Now, now we need to see if we can spin it. So I mean, the easiest way to do this is to literally have an engine and then attach that engine to this bearing, ooh, this bearing here and the whole thing should just spin. It may be too heavy for that, let us see. Basically, I'm just gonna stick the engine underneath here but in a place where it's not gonna like whack into these, uh, this mechanism here. You guys, on every single episode, you always write comments saying, oh, the engine doesn't need to be attached. Yes, the engine does need to be attached. Look, if I put an engine, say, on this path here, there's no link between this path and this merry-go-round thing here. So I cannot connect the engine 
to this bearing here. And actually, I can't even put the engine on this sort of wooden border here because that's also not connected. As you can see, I cannot connect it to any of these any of these bearings in this mechanism. So basically the engine has to be attached by a, a wire, like a wooden wire underneath. I didn't mean to place that. I took my hand off the mouse in order to do that. So we need to put it in a place where these like these beams, which also are gonna spin around, where those aren't gonna hit it. Let's turn this to just, just the lowest possible power. Let's see if this works. It does. Oh, that's the wrong way. This is the wrong way. Uh, uh, yes, yes. It's actually even quicker than I was expecting it. This is actually really almost too fast, but that looks good. This looks good. So now actually if I turn this switch on, oh yes. And then I set back, you can see what we were going for, the merry-go-round. So if you guys want to see, we can get on one of these lovely toilets. Let's go in first person. And yeah, this is the view from the merry-go-round. I mean, aside from that really annoying whining sound, it's actually, it's actually a pretty peaceful ride around, a gentle rocking motion, get a view of the whole park, it's slightly elevated so you can see into the bumper cars, it's pretty, it's pretty pleasant. It's, it's magical, just as I promised. So now, all we need to do, we need to put like a roof on it, because it looks weird of a flat top, I want to have like a, an angled roof. I also want to make a thing underneath so it hides all the mechanism underneath so you can't get your, can't get your fingers trapped, there's no health and safety hazards, and also just make it look nicer. So I want to make a sort of like a, a skirt, you would call it, around the bottom which hides all this stuff and also acts as like steps so you can get into it because otherwise it's quite a, it's quite a leap up if you're not, if you're not a, a tuned athlete such as myself, it might be tricky to get up there. So, make a thing at the bottom, make a roof on the top, then I'm just going to paint it. I think we're going to go with white and red and maybe yellow, those are sort of like classic, classic merry-go-round, fairground colours. Well, okay. It's painted. I realise now, it does look quite a lot like a mushroom. Wait, let me just turn this thing on. Oh, yes. So, we now have the, the first few rides in our amusement park, theme park, fun land, Vader's, Vader's fun land. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of building an amusement park type thing in Scrap Mechanic. As I said before, if you guys have any other ideas of more amusement park rides we can add to the park to make it even more awesome, let me know down below. If there's anything else, any other suggestions that aren't theme park related, we can also try those things out in a different world. But yeah, just let me know down below. I think we can make this thing super awesome with like loads and loads of different rides. I think that'd be nice. Also, if we do come back here, I'd like to do some park beautification because currently we got some, we got some like stone paths around the uh, around the different rides but i'd like to add some maybe like some light posts i think that look cool maybe we could add some some greenery some plants but we only really have like potted plants and they're they're quite small wait look i can put some of these in but that just looks that looks weird but yeah if you guys have any suggestions for more stuff to do in scrap mechanic let me know down below but until next time this has been scrap mechanic i am vader hope you guys enjoyed this thank you for watching and i'll see you guys later